Hello guys, Matthew Mass right here and welcome to my review of the Blue Microphone Snowball Eyes. Also, before I jump into the review, I'd like to apologise for the ungodly amount of glare here. It's like, what is it, 2 o'clock in the afternoon? No, it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. And speaking of that, the sun is actually shining into my room, which is causing a lot of glare there. So, I'd like to apologise in advance for it. Let's jump into the review, shall we? Now the Snowball Ice is Blue Microphone's bottom end microphone right underneath the original Snowball actually um, After doing a bit of research after unboxing this a couple of weeks ago I found this is the bottom end which why it cost me about £50 Now I just want to say right off the bat for the most part the build quality is outstanding uh, The reason I say the most part because of this right here if you can see that, wobble slightly on the stand. Now this is screwed in as far as it can go without me breaking it. So I, th so that's really the only negligent point that there seems to be a bit of rocking uh, between this part right here and the tripod. I also like the fact this is height adjustable. I don't really just keep it here really when I'm not using it. And when I use it, I have it up here facing me so that it obviously catches my voice. Now just because the Snowball Ice is the bottom of the line doesn't mean it skims out in sound quality. I've used this in Skype and my the person I was talking on Skype said they definitely noticed the quality of it. I've tried this in games, I've tried this in Audacity when I record my voice, I've tried this in you know, gameplay videos, I've tried this in every application I would normally use a mic for and the result has been overwhelming now in case you haven't watched any of my gameplay videos or my uh, Christmas in Equestria video either because you haven't got around to it yet or you just simply don't want to here is the, a sound bite of a recording from the Snowball Ice this is what the blue microphone Snowball Ice sounds like Okay, now the next point I want to make is that there's no dial back here. I'm guessing where this little stop right here is where the dial would be, which would have one, two, and three on, a, on the normal snowball. Now, that means it kind of records all around the room. Maybe because this thing is so close to my desktop right there when I'm recording, there is obviously some background noise. But I haven't really heard it. When I was listening it back, it's just that the audio was not completely, you know, so that there's some audio being picked up on the mic. Now speaking of distance, this thing can pick up amazingly well from far distances. Now I recorded something for a project that I'm working on, and I had to go out of my room for me having answering the door. And when I entered entering my room, I said something, I cannot remember actually, but this thing picked it up, not crystal clear, obviously there was some reverb, but this thing picked it up as loud as day. I really like this, that this thing can go such far distances and still be reasonably clear. Now to design, now this thing, I think it's quite a timeless classic and goes really well with my setup, which is normally like a white black can see right there, or if you just want to watch my last Tour of the Geeks video, you'll get the general idea. But in terms of design, this thing is amazing. I mean, from the chrome plating right there, because I really like that touch, just, that hasn't really diminished on me during the couple of weeks I've owned it. It's got very nice high quality plastic, I like this little stub for where the red light is, if you can see it. I like the design from back here, which I imagine where the back and side mics are, which is why I partially pick up the fans from my computer. Overall, it's a great design, good build quality, and outstanding sound. Now, time for the conclusion. Well, most people, I would suspect the Snowball Ice would fit them very well. I personally don't see them why they would need to upgrade themselves to a normal Snowball, which for me, the only difference is it's got a dial there. The sound quality should be the same. You know, everything's the same apart from a missing dial, which is why for me it was £10 less, because a normal snowball was about £15.99. 
And the only other difference between this and the normal snowball is the tripod. This is a standard tripod and there's something special about the other tripod on the normal snowball. But again, I don't see for most people they would need it. Now, what I've heard the normal snowball and the Yeti sound pretty much identical, so it's reason for me to believe it will sound the same as a Yeti as well. Well, that sounds like the newest Yeti Black or Yeti Pro, whatever they call it. Um, I have no idea. But unless you need, like, pass-through so you can listen to yourself as you're recording, I say the blue microphone snowball eyes will fit you pretty well. It's about $49.99 on Amazon or your regional equivalents. And there's no reason for me or for many, many other people why I should get a higher end model. So there you go guys, that's my review of the Blue Microphone Snowball Ice. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.